Right, I'm going to show you how to do a cross stitch um, which is for getting these all joined up at the back. So if you look at these four squares here, top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, okay, and we're doing a cross over here. So we go into bottom right, come out at top left, Good pull. Now then, when you've got it out of the top left, you pick up the loop and you go under it. That's because when you go back, you're going into the top right and you want to put a bit of tension on the centre. So go into the top right square, hold this up as tight as you can and then bring up through bottom left and then hold that centre as tight as you can push through and pull and push down on it make it tight that's the secret to keeping these good is make them as tight as you can and you work all the way covering any, everywhere where it crosses and what I do, I do the outsides first then go back to there and then in, 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 in till I get to the middle. And that way uh, I make sure I don't miss anything. Right, okay, once I've done that, I will then turn it over and I will cut along here and between each cross. But only the first two colours. You leave the dark colour where it is and you take, you just cut between the two pale colours and you keep doing that and then when you finish you take all the bits off the end take it off the frame or before you take it off the frame steam it over a kettle and that fluffs all the little pom-poms up and then take it off the frame and what you're left with and this is one I've done earlier is the daisies like this some of mine could do with a bit of trimming, but I didn't have a lot of time, so I need to go back and sort those out, and I could do with a bit more steaming on one of the end ones. But apart from that, that is basically it. And there's my... And you can see here how I've gone round. I started there, I've gone right round the outside, and again, right round, right round, and finished up at the centre. And that way I've got all the places where they intersect. Okay, so if you need any help, give me an email on val.bouager at gmail.com and um, I'm hoping to be able to get these into production so that people can actually get them. I know this is there's a bigger blanket you can make, there's a frame for a bigger blanket, but this one I think is great for small ones and great for using up your oddments. Okay, so I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye bye.